Hello, everyone. Uh, so welcome to the uh, sneak peek sessions for CFA and FRM, the courses that have been launched by my academy called Finis. And in this, I am going to just give you a sneak peek into one of the topics just to give the prospects an idea of how the teaching is going to be in terms of the concepts and the learning. So the topic I have chosen is for CFA level two. It's called, it's the first module, actually module 1.2. And this is regarding the quantitative methods. So this is the book that I have. And uh, if you have understood what is regression, regression is basically to establish the relationship between independent variables and the dependent variable. Now, it actually, uh, there is when you run the regression, there is an N over table which gets generated analysis of variances. In that, there is a variable which is called R squared, which is the coefficient of determination. Now, it basically reflects the predictive strength of the model. That is, how well the changes in the independent variable can be, you are able to predict the change in the dependent variable. Now, uh, what happens is if you're doing univariate regression, there is just one independent variable and you're examining the impact on the dependent variable. But if you're running a multivariate regression, there are a number of observations and a number of uh, independent variables. And that's where the interpretation uh, could get slightly more complex. The unfortunate part with R square is it generally tends to increase as the number of independent variables start increasing. So it doesn't penalize something which is called as overfitting. Now, the issue is that when you have independent variables, R squared is growing. So it's very difficult to say, is the increase in R squared, the inference that you and me will draw is that the predictive strength of the model is increasing. But the point is, is that increasing because of the increase in the independent variables? I mean, the number of independent variables, or is it increasing because there is an actual, uh, I mean, there is actually a better uh, enhancement of the predictive strength of the model. So, us aspect ya us shortcoming ko overcome karne ke liye, we have got something which is called as adjusted R square. Now, adjusted R square is very simple. You do n minus one by n minus k minus one and into one minus R square, and that number that you get, you reduce from one. So that is adjusted R square. Now, what are we doing here? We are trying to find out a solution where the number of independent variables as they go on increasing, are we penalizing overfitting there? And that's why when we use adjusted R square, it will always be less than or equal to your R square. So it definitely penalizes overfitting. The point is, how do you know that a particular variable that you are adding, let's say start an exercise with eight independent variables, you add one more. Now, will R, adjusted R square increase or decrease? That will depend upon the T-stat coefficient of the variable that is added. If the T-stat coefficient of the variable that is added is less than one, then the absolute, uh, obviously the value of adjusted R square will decrease. I have run a regression for one independent variable with the variable uh, with the uh, with the dependent variable. Here my regression is the returns of Tata Motors, which are regressed against the returns of Nifty. This is your R square, which is nothing but your predictive strength. So it tells you how how well your model is able to explain. So we take the regression sum of squares, which is the explained variance by the total sum of squares, which is the total variance. And so you will see that the value that you get is 0 0.37078. That is your R square. But I told you there is a limitation with R square. What if you add more variables to this regression? That's where we should look at adjusted R square. Now for adjusted R square, we can find it out also by looking at the number of observations. So if I look at the number of observations here, there are 60 observations. So your N is 60. So if I apply the formula N minus one, which is 60 minus one, which is 59, 
divided by n minus k minus 1. So 59 minus the number of independent variables. In this case, there is only one independent variable. So 59 minus 1 into 1 minus r square. r square is this value which you just got. Now, this number that you get, you must reduce from 1. You will get your adjusted r square. And you can see that your adjusted r square exactly matches what is there in your and over table. So this is your adjusted R square and you should always look at adjusted R square, especially in a multivariate regression because it penalizes overfitting and you will be having a more conservative estimate and a more realistic one in terms of determining the predictive strength of the model. There are other parameters also like the AIC and the BIC criterions, uh, Akai case information criterion and Bayesian information criterion, which will also be able to uh, give you more insights. If you want to do a better forecast, you should go for AIC. If you want to go for the goodness of it, then you should go for the BIC criterion. Okay. So I think that was uh, a small uh, sneak peek into the uh, evaluation of best fit and regression comparison between your univariate and multivariate regression, the limitations of R squared, and how it can be uh, probably overcome a little by adjusted R squared and the alternative parameters that are available depending upon the objective of your exercise. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Every topic that is going to be done in my academy, whether it is CFA level one, level two, FRM level one, level two, is going to be done in the minutest of detail with live exercises so that the one I showed you is a live exercise of a regression to tell you, make you understand how the topic, it's not just about reading a sentence in the in your notes, I mean, whether your notebook or your Schweizer notes, it's also about understanding each concept. And that is going to be the thrust area for my uh, for the classes that I take. I am going to be deep rooted in terms of conceptual learning so that it stays in your mind. Thank you very much. And all the best. Any inquiries with respect to the CFA or FRM uh, coaching classes, you can reach out at 88502-27410 or 992052861. Thank you very much and happy learning.